Hello teachers, how has it been? Good afternoon. Welcome to the training session as scheduled before now. Welcome to Global Community Digital School, the classroom training where we teach with technology, education, meet technology for the modern child or vice versa. Welcome once more. Um, today we are going to go through some slides before the training will commence properly. First of all, congratulations. You are still with us up to this moment. Just know that many applied but could not do what you did to remain here. We are building ourselves. You can observe that you have learned a lot of things before now. I thank you for making yourself available for that. Whatever you have learned remains with you wherever you go, with or without GCDS. So even if you stop now, whatever you've learned is with you, and uh, there's no problem with that. However, there are still lots to learn in the future, so we just want you to be ready for that. Now, I would quickly like to remind you of some things about staff profiling. As you've been informed before now, you are asked to prepare a short biography of you as you deem necessary for public consumption. So you are going to make a short video as then the mail sent to you and send all those to gtcscontact at gmail.com. Please, we want you to do that as quick as possible. Then for the senior secondary subjects allocation, the link will be sent to you soon. Please, once you get it, we want you to fill the form immediately and um, send it to us. Send it to us so that we will be able to know the subjects to publicize. We want to make use of few. I want you to have your subjects before we make it public because um, the whole recruitment process hasn't been easy with us. So, we just want to work with what we have before we get new ones. So, please, once you get the link, please do not hesitate to fill the form. For the JSS lesson notes, a um, few of you have submitted. Uh, so many of you have not submitted, but we believe that uh, you will be sending your soon before the petition practice date, which is June 17, 2019. Please, we want you to do that as fast as possible. Then, continuation and quick reminders, bank account details. Many of you have not submitted. Please, I want you to quickly do that so that it will help us to um, know your second choice subjects. And if you want to submit your account details to the personal department, please you just know that we are being delayed if you are delaying the, this process. Then for Gmail account, we told you before now that we run purely on Google's infrastructure and all that we do is on Google infrastructure. So please, we want you to swap your communication email with us to Gmail and send it to us so that we document it so that we don't have any problem with any platforms we'll be using in the future. Then please know that if you can't be two hours online every 48 hours, you may not flow well with GCDS. Of course, you observe that all we do is online so that we wish people, wish across the world, those people wish we want to rush. Please uh, always check your mails, do what you're asked to do at least within 48 hours. Try to come online, just stay to one hour or two or more based on what you have to do so that you don't miss out on anything. Then um, we're still working, we're still doing some lot of works. So we are currently building a site for each of you that will be in form of a blog. When done, you will be duly notified and furnished with your own site's addresses. This site is such that uh, the students can easily go there and uh, uh, talk about you, hail you. You can equally show it to any person. Uh, that's the good work you are doing in your class. If you are applying for any work somewhere, remember GCDS work will never stop you from applying to any work anywhere. You can equally uh, give them as a reference for them to see what students have said about you that have been doing well, you work with us. So the site address is going to be sent to you and the site is going to be uh, designed for each and every one of you. So it's going to be a very big work for us. but. Uh, that is part of uh, what we have to do. Then, we are in talk with Google to create a special Gmail account for each of you so that you keep private things private. So, please, once you once we do that, you'll be notified. 
So we'll embark on state tour of the federation soon once all is set. Uh, for that, so we'll pick state coordinators from amongst you. Once ready for that, you'll be you'll be notified. You are you will be issued official plastic ID card uh, that we are working currently working on the modalities for that. So once we are ready, you'll be informed and lots more in the pipeline. Okay, so the teaching practice proper so you have been informed of this so it's not a new thing now uh, each teacher will be in charge of the common class lecturing on his or her subjects for a day that's going to be you're going to be in charge of your child of the class for that day so you can come in the morning tell us what to do afternoon this or that until the day runs out so the schedule as earlier sent to you remains unchanged please check the calendar to see the date for you so let's just see the calendar and uh, go through it let's see what we have here the calendar so please i would advise you to download the google calendar from google play store uh, for quicker views can see everything is listed here starting with this guy let's see Abdullahi, followed by divine, uh, divine udeli and uh, utc so it goes this way you can see here so all the days have been booked of course have been booked until 23rd of august so let me see let me just open this guy's uh, schedule here click on it we have um this okako emmanuel you name me john paul ezani chuku kensele they're going to take social studies on tuesday 20th august though their train number here they are going to be in the class at the same time as teachers so we are going to have three teachers taking you so they are going to divide their work as they should as that is going to be um, taken so that is about the uh, calendar as you can see please download the google calendar everything you are doing uh, if there's any schedule we're going to give you must be on the calendar so please download the google calendar from your play store for easy view so let's go back to our slides so that is uh here we are okay now uh, you have to be trained in a few minutes of course very soon you're going to see how the classroom works so you're going to see how to go about your uh, uh, training that day um, your lecture in that day please you can uh, you, you you are free to ask questions your questions are very very vital to us so that will help us to know where to help you uh, please um take all stages very very seriously remember we're building ourselves now going further uh, the glass the, the GCS, sorry, gcds classroom operating platform as earlier as stressed we are running purely on google's infrastructure so we've adopted from many platform out there the google classroom for our classes the google classroom has all we need to operate efficiently as we're going to see in a few minutes from now you 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 are going to see how to download uh, for uh, classroom for play store of course you know how to download any app from play store so please quickly go to your play store just type google classroom then tap on download uh, once downloaded is it's going to be very simple uh, of course after this training is going to be simpler so let's proceed then let's just uh, give you a little overview of the google classroom uh, google classroom makes teaching more productive and meaningful by streaming assignments boosting collaboration and fostering communications our uh, educators can create classes distribute assignments send feedbacks and see everything in one place just in your smartphone classroom are seamlessly uh, also seamlessly sorry integrates with other google tools like google docs and google drive and lost more you're going to see that then what class can classroom do classroom serves for a set of people the teachers the students the guardians and the administrators so as you can see here help the teachers to create and manage classes assignments and grades it gives uh, it helps them to give direct real-time feedback and grades on the go then for students help them to track class uh, work and uh, materials they share resources and interact in, in the classroom uh, classroom stream or by email help them to submit assignments on the go get feedback and grades on the go all these things are just with your plus, uh, smartphone and for guidance uh, they can equally see email summary of their students work or their child's work and uh, this summary includes information about missing work they want the, the works the, the, their words missed uh, the one they are going to do so it will help them to notify them 
uh, then equally upcoming assignments like just i said and class activities so they will see everything that is happening in their child's uh, class so just like you don't unlike uh, the, the, the 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 ordinary school we have uh, some parents don't even know what is happening in the classroom they only they only know they want their kids to them but this they're going to be seeing everything that is happening in the classroom then um for administrators uh, it's going to help them to create view or delete any classroom in their domain and uh, add or remove students and the teachers from classroom uh, view works in all classes in their domain and uh, lots more so let's proceed uh, to the classroom training proper plus i uh, want it now to open your google classroom app and let's um, uh, continue so i have my classroom app here so I'll open it then it's going to open this way so this is the classroom environment so but before that please know that uh, each email you have in your phone equally goes with uh, classrooms so i have this is gcds contact at gmail.com that's one i have i can equally switch to this gdcs library at gmail.com uh, but i don't have any class in it so it's not used for classes at the moment oh sorry let me open it up so i can equally uh, go to the other this is my personal uh, you have a lot of classes here because i've been into this for a long time now so i have um project management so uh, I have 232 students, I have um, computer troubleshooting, 230 students. Uh, this is yours, of course, nobody is there at the moment. It's the first semester of the university I'm lecturing on. So I equally have a first semester computer business with my students in university and the ATC. So we're going to see, you have to switch to the account you want to use, or the one you're going to be using, and that is going to be the one you're going to send to us. Uh, so be sure of the email you are going to use for the class before you send it to us or so if it's the one you have with us currently then we'll use that so let me go back to this uh, that is that for the gcds contact so i have my classes this is the teaching practice uh, class which i don't have anybody at the moment this is that is waiting for you to come in i have games boxing one student now for now just on you and this is staff for nobody there at the moment and all that so I'm going to go into this. This is what I'm going to use to show you at the moment. So I can make references to all these ones later. So let's go in. So we're in now. Uh, it's a very simple platform, very easy. So we have three major buttons here. These three buttons does a lot of work for us, and you pull some here. So we're going to see that later. So let me quickly tell you that stream is stream contains everything you discuss with your students. Any assignment you make, any assignment you give listed here. Any announcement you make will be listed here. Any classwork you did you gave will be listed here. And they're going to see every student's uh, comments here. And that is it. So I'm going to come back to this. So this classwork contains all the classwork you give to your students, which includes, you can see here, assignment, questions, uh, materials, topic, and you can you can reuse, re reuse a post. So I'm going to come back to this. Then you probably have another one called people. So here, you have all the students you have, all the teachers, that are teaching this class and all the students so what we are going to have here is any of you that will be taking the class at the moment and all of you that are just that will be the teach students at the moment will be listed here so we're going to come back here so let's go back to stream so this stream like i said before contains all conversations we've had with your students before so it's going to be there with dates and everything this one was done the time this class was created waiting for you so let's say i want to make a comment I'll click here or you want to make a comment you click here and type whatever you want to type and just say hello class how are you doing for today you know it can be anything so now there are a lot of options here uh, you can decide to send this post to all the classes associated with the uh, email account so I have this one two three four with my GDCS contact at the moment so I can decide to send it to these guys these guys these guys or oh, no but for now i just want to send it to people here alone so you can equally decide but whatever you're telling us is going to be for this class alone so i'm done here then uh, that is that then uh, i can equally uh, send it immediately by clicking on post post button just send now 
but if I want to send it in the future, I will call schedule it, I'll click on schedule, and I'm going to have options here to say the day is going to be sent. So you can program yourself here very, very well. You can say, okay, I have time today. Let me just tell them something on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You can just write everything here and come here and set the date you want it to be posted. And that will help you a lot. So if I want this information to be sent on Tuesday in the future, so I'll just click on Tuesday and that is that. Then I'll have to set the time I want it to be sent. So I want it to be sent by 8 o'clock a.m. Or, um, or any another time, or 12 or, or 12 30, you know, any time. You see that? You can send it to, let's say, I want to send it at uh, 12 a.m. in the midnight, of course, or 5 a.m. in the morning, 5 30 a.m. in the morning, or 5 o'clock in the morning. So, all this is uh, there for you to choose. They click OK. So, now, it means that this message will be sent on this day and at this time to the student. So you can use this thing to program yourself for the week. Uh, then know the time you are going to be there. You can even set a question which I'm going to see later and, tell, and set the question to be posted at a particular date in the future. So once I'm done here, I click on schedule, it's going to be sent. Uh, but then let's say I want to make an attachment. I want to attach something to this um, post. I can click here and there. Uh, Look for something to attach. You know, go to your drive. You know, this is going to open the drive, but I don't want to go into that now. You can equally open your drive and see whatever there. Anyone you click is going to be sent. Then cancel. Then I can equally decide to add a link, maybe a link to a site or a link to anything. So, but uh, you have to be careful with the link you give to the students because whatever you do here, we are responsible for that. Get that so please you have to be careful with the link you give them. This is uh, online, this official official um, uh, website that is still with uh, GoDaddy US, USA. So we're working on that. So we can say okay, go to this, but we don't want to do that. You can once you click on okay, it's going to be added. Then, then equally here, you can equally decide to uh, give them a file, be upload a file from your phone or your system. Maybe something you want to give them, but like I said, every material that is to be sent to the students must pass through the management for us to be sure of what we are giving to the students because we are responsible for them. So please, uh, you are not expected to make use of the attachments except when approved by the management, then it's okay, you can go on. But everything called material is going to be sent to them by the management so that we'll be sure what they are having. So you can equally give them a YouTube, but this can still equally be applied at your personal classes. YouTube link, uh, you, know, you type there, it'll give you here, you just say, maybe say, a computer. You know, you see a lot of things about computer, you know. So let's say computer, click on it, it's going to list search and give you some links. Then uh, when that is done, you know when you click here now, will be attached but uh, like I said I don't want to use it at the moment so we we'll back then close then that is that about um, YouTube attachment so as soon as I want to attach a photo you can take a photo and upload just as you snap and upload on your Facebook and others and record and upload so let's say I want to add a new PDF click on pin the PDF I'm going to open an editor for you here you can do a lot of things I decided to make a sketch for them you know to see maybe this is set I might decide to use a particular place to shade you know the point of intersection you know you know what best what to do you can probably use a you know if you know what to do you know what you are doing so you can just you know make that and then you can probably use this letter here to label and this is um, set A and this is what um get it again okay this is a uh, set b you know you know best yeah it's up there so then when you are done when you click on save save it's going to be attached but uh, like i said you can just say click on save you're going to be attached to the mail to the uh, post which is going to be sent to them are you still uploading so that give you some time to attach. So that is it here. It has been attached here. So anything I'm sending here now, this thing is going to be listed with it. So the same thing with, uh, yeah, I mean, okay, nothing else. So 
so i can once i click on schedule then this date and time will take effect it means that this thing is going to be posted in the future date which is june 11 by 5 a.m then i can fully delete the draft it's a draft at the moment because i'm not be posted i can send a, a google feedback so let me just delete the draft at the moment because i'm doing nothing with it so go back so that is about posting something here so and that is that so you can equally delete okay, something has been you can edit something you said before delete it you can equally add a class comment to as a follow-up as i mean i made this thing some time ago just add a comment i'll add a comment just type something hi so just say post is going to be there again um you see that so you can go back have the two comments there now two comments so i'm done here so that is that this is what to re reuse a post so uh, it's going to give us uh, some classes that we passed before we can use their post but we're coming back to this so let's go back so let's go to class work okay let me show you something in streams for example here let me switch to my old class let's say i have this class here now I have this class, uh, this um, classroom. I have my students. Uh, this is my first semester students in computer basics. And then I see, can you see all that I've discussed with them, starting from when February last year? You know, that is February. Okay, no, no, February this year. I think oh, that, that should be last year. Then you see that till uh, the moment last time we had the interaction that was September 21, 2018. So this is the kind of link I gave them. So that all these things I use the, the post to do them. And they're going to see the comments, if any, under each. You can see that. So that's what I mean by stream. So uh, okay, let me follow this place to teach you about classwork. So look at classwork now. All these are okay, I deleted some recently. So all these are what I've told them to do before now. I gave them this on November 14, 2018. And uh, they say, do you want this semester done to be done online? Yes or no? So I have their, con their, their answers. Same with others. So see, uh, let me see what I have here. So that is that. Um, see their responses. Anyway, so let me use the other side. Um, cancel. I'm going to return with work. Okay, you guys, okay. Cancel that. Okay, sorry. Then. Let me go back to my class, our class uh, here. Then uh, our, our um, teaching practice class. Okay. So here, let's go to classwork. So here is where you give them assignments. Like you can give them, like I showed you before now, assignments, questions, etc. So assignments. Now I click on assignments. It's going to display something here of course you're familiar with this i've told you about this before you can choose where to post it so let's say here alone then you describe or give them any description about the question then give the question points like you can say 10 points or five points or you can just decide to leave it as ungraded so that they will not know what they're working for you can still give them points so that they will say oh i'm working for five points let me be serious or 10 points whatever so do you know best what to do so let's say I say five points, I'll save it, then I'm going to see it here. Then do this, just like you are scheduling yourself. Tell them, oh, this assignment should be submitted on Monday. So better do it and submit it on Monday, 10th, say okay. Then I'll say the time, you can say by 12 midnight, so that you must have submitted it by 12 p.m. So this is left for you to do. You can decide to remove it or add it again, you know, anything you want. So you can, the topic simply means the topic of where under which this title is. So you can click on topic, but there is no topic at the moment, but you can add a topic. You can add a topic um, by typing, say, uh, say, let me say PC. Uh, PC, let me just say PC. Let's say, okay, save. You see? So I've added it as topic. So once I come here I can equally make an attachment like I asked to explain all this before so no need I can equally uh, schedule it you know schedule it okay so we me to type something let me just type something here yeah of course you see that let me just say you yeah, or whatever so now let me try to schedule let's see you see 
is give me the time like i've shown it before so it's not a new thing for you now you can schedule it to be sent on 12th and by so time so you know best so once i click on um here once i click on uh, okay, i'm done here yes so i've scheduled it so once i click on post it goes so but i don't want to save it uh, i have to post it i'll cancel that go back then delete post delete delete that's a draft then it goes now that is about class where you can equally give uh, questions questions means maybe currently in the class or it can be done anyway but let's ask me want to ask them something uh, who are you assuming this, <coughs> assuming this is a question of a subject who are you just type the question then of course with some mark then you can give them instructions then you can equally great that i've told you this before so you know best what to do you can say the due time i've told you this before so you know what to do then topic of course i've told you before but this is where i want to concentrate see short answer means they will be asked to type in something so for that the, the students can edit answer but this is not advisable not to allow them to edit your answers anyway that is your choice but uh, it's not be advisable when a student submit uh, an answer it uh, goes, uh, goes back and makes some corrections but it's left for you to decide anyway then they can reply each other if you want them to discuss you put it on if you don't want to switch it off uh, all these things are, are settings so but you can choose multiple choice this is just like obj so you can give uh, options say a then a um, who are you man or you can say the c can be man so it's left for you to decide so you can equally give c d e t c so do that the also once you are done you click on send or you can click on schedule like i've told you before and etc so delete the draft say yes delete then um what else can i do here you can equally add materials but like i said before you are not expected to add any material here uh, all materials that is going to be sent to the students uh, should be from the management so that we know what they are having and you can fully defend that but however if there's anything we want to let the show, show them then just let us know we'll just look at it and say okay go ahead uh, but we don't want you to take the um, pains of uh, trying to get materials because you are more work just to moderate the classes give assignments and ask and uh, ask questions then topic here is you can add a new topic so that the topic will just be there let's say um farm or farming or farm whatever and then you add then it has been added so but it's no, nothing is going to be they're not going to see this topic until the topic has been used so the students can only see topics with published posts so uh, this topic is going to be seen only by you but it's going to be seen by the students once there's anything you you use it to post maybe you choose a topic you, you, you ask a question and choose it to be under this topic then you need to see this topic as it's existing so let's delete it you can rename it or delete it okay so now what else here do i have here you can click on okay that's a reuse post okay let me just talk about this now maybe you have about about two or three or four classes there was a two post you have in one class that is not in this class you click on reuse post then go back and show you all those classes then you can click on the class okay let's say i want to use um, a post okay let me see let's say what do i have in a post now i don't have any all this is all these classes uh have been created waiting for you let's say um, there have not been any posts in any of them at the moment for this account so let's uh, zoom uh, is this so so this is the there's no post here at the moment so but if there is any what you could have done is just click on the post it will go in in and that is that see that so you haven't created any classwork yet so that is about the classwork so now uh, i think i'm done please if you have any question please do not hesitate to ask now let's go to people people will list every human being persons you have as your students or as school teachers so here you have a lot of teachers uh, you teach you as the teacher or other teachers with you then here you have all the list of your students so so let me 
uh, emphasize here you can add a teacher here but you are not you are not to do that uh, please do not add any teacher any teacher you are handling a subject with must be added by the administration so not you you don't equally add a student all the students will be given by you by the administration so take this as a rule so which you must have uh, you must uh, adhere to so that's the rule you don't admit students into a class of course of course you know that even uh, ordinary schools any class any students you have in your class must be admitted by the school management so no teacher should be added by you uh, if you need a hand let us know discuss that then no student will be added by you so here is uh, we list all the teachers you have and all the students you have in your class so let me use this place to give you an example of what I mean uh, let me use my old um, class here like my students here they are uh, past this class so now uh, let's see when I go to people I'm going to see them see them a lot of them are here so these are my students uh, so that is me as a teacher these are the students now I can email this person by clicking on this dot I'll see email a student moot uh, remove a student so please you are not supposed to remove any students you're not supposed to uh, remove any student you can email a student uh, on a personal note maybe uh, you've not done this assignment why just send it and click on yeah once you click on email a student click it's going to open an email editor and automatically put the student's email uh, email address see that so you're only left to give it a topic and type what you want to tell the students and click on send so that is how see so I go back so now uh, that is about um, okay she went to tell me something thank you okay so oh okay no problem don't mind it okay thank you very much my battery is low sorry let me go back to my classroom um now um if you have any question you can ask so let's see you want something about classwork so now uh, this is a classwork i have uh, this classwork here let me show you something uh, these are the students can you see the mark I give them you know just like a survey so I just say uh, give them one over ten one over ten based on what they said you know all these things are just mine um, decision so these ones are signed they've not responded even though it just like it was like a survey uh, which um, they don't have time to attend to because uh, the exam is almost closed so that is that but let's assume this person now uh, can call, click here and see everything he has done see you can click here uh, this is this person's recommend you want the class semester to be done online yes or no the person said yes okay so that is it you see that now um, clicking on the student means uh, viewing the students uh, see you can still give the person mark here maybe based on that question you said yes okay let me give you 50 marks for saying yes then once I say yes I'll click on send then I can equally add a comment oh thanks or congrats or maybe a correctional statement here so that person will see or if person said no no whatever I can put a comment before sending so these are the actual thing you do when I click on send this mail an email will be sent to the student telling him or her that he scored 50 out of out of 100 in this question so but that I don't want to do at the moment um, that is it so that is still return return means somebody submitted a book you have to make it to return it to the person that is a return so when I click on this return it's going to say Dick sincere so I will be notified uh, about that and uh, check any good documents you've left say okay return so when I click on return it will sense but not now at the moment okay so now that is that about classroom and it's a very interesting thing I believe please if you have any question you are free to ask get that so ask your questions and be ready for your teaching practice on on uh, 17th of june 2019 so that is that so let me like i told you let me go back to my class and that is where you're going to come in so when the time comes we're going to send you an email inviting you to this class and that will be done in the coming week so what we are going to do is just to send you an email invite you to the class once you click on the class link you'll be automatically see us you automatically see yourself inside this classroom 
and as a student then those that will be invited as a teachers will come as in, in as a as a teacher and that is that about classroom please if you have any question please ask so let's finish it up in our slide i believe the slide is still open here okay so now we have lots to learn in the future of course a lot of things a lot of things we have to learn and many of them we only want you to be available so your ideas and contributions will be highly entertained please if you have any idea let us know we send it to the appropriate quarters they will look at it and they communicate it then any questions ask as soon as possible please note this place very very importantly um, if you have any technical questions or question to ask uh, how do I get this done I can't see this how do I do this how do I do that we know that we are learning because we build ourselves please put it in our hangout group so that when it's answered others will learn from it uh, do not private chat me for or private any person for technical questions except for private issues you can equally send the person personal email or personal whatsapp or personal hangout but if you have any technical questions to ask please ask it in our hangout group so that when it's answered others instead of asking it again we we'll say okay okay this is how it's done I have observed some people doing that and I commend you for that. Remember, we build ourselves. Everything we are doing, we are building ourselves. You get if you have learned, if you have no done, if you don't know any anything add from here, then this is an opportunity for you to know it. And like I said, if you leave GGCDS tomorrow, it goes with you. So we are happy to have your audience to impact this knowledge, whatever uh, we have done. So, and uh, that is that. Please ask your questions in Hangar Group so that others will learn from the answers always reach us for any problem this is always always uh, welcome now uh, thanks for your audience and um, i wish you happy uh, weekend i um, still, still remain mr godwin okonkwo the director and i uh, wrap it up here thank you for listening stop